Guys, it's been forever since I've vlogged and today I'm gonna be seeing Metallica's 72 Seasons, the album premiere, global album premiere. Uh, the whole Metallica family is gonna be checking it out tonight, I guess. And I'm part of that, so I'm gonna be seeing it, you know? I got my H&M with the metallic writing <laughs> hoodie on. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have dinner first. Oh my God, dude, we have Chinese leftovers. Absolutely glorious meal right there. Like, I'm honestly, to be fair, I'm not a huge fan of like Eastern food, like, I don't know, Indonesian, Chinese food, Japanese food. Having it occasionally is nice. Occasionally. Occasionally I like it. I'm a fanatic of American and Italian food. Just a kid's menu I like, <laughs> pretty much. I don't know what it is about Eastern food either, but it always makes me full as fuck. I think it's because like you have small portions of everything. Like you have a little bit of rice, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of egg, a little bit of fucking baked banana. So like you have so much different shit. So it just feels like more. I feel like that's probably it. Whereas with a huge pizza, it's like one pizza. So you're eating one thing. So it feels like less, but like in terms of calories and amounts, it can be way more than Chinese food, but it just feels like less for me personally. But maybe I'll just, Fucking crazy. And there you have it. My meal. I don't have any bing chilling, sadly, but uh, this will do. Slash your pepper mukbang? Should I do that? Probably not. That's the thing too with Chinese food. I never know what the fuck I'm eating. Like, what is this? Can anyone give me the name of this? It's not the baked banana. I mean, baked banana is bigger. It's this shit. But, oh my God. It's so fucking good though. That was a great fucking meal, but the entire inside of my face is burnt because that shit was hotter than hell. Little kiss reference there. That was smooth, dude. Hot, hot, hotter than hell. You just gotta be welcome. You do not want to stand next to me at a kiss concert. I'm telling you that much. Man, there's just something about being at the cinema. I don't know what it is. I just love seeing all the posters for the upcoming movies and shit. Yeah, it's just amazing. I love the vibe. You can smell the popcorn pretty much. You know, when you're going to see a good movie or a global premiere for a new Metallic album, life is pretty damn good. Horror is looking pretty good for the next month. Three hours later. Just got almost back home. Need to walk for a bit. I'll go for a walk later. I really liked it. I thought it was a great fucking album. And I cannot wait to hear it on vinyl tomorrow. I'll be doing a vinyl unboxing, so stay tuned for that. And also, I'll be doing a vlog soon, another vlog. Going to see Metallica live, because I'm going to be seeing them at the first show of the M72 World Tour in Amsterdam. So I'm very excited for that, as you can imagine. But about the global premiere, let's go for a walk, guys. You can't see me anymore probably, but gotta get home, you know, because it's late. Gotta get up early tomorrow. There's something about watching a metal album in the cinema with people that just is so awkward kind of because like at first everyone was like slightly headbanging but not really some people were literally sitting still and this is the exact reason why i don't want to get sitting tickets at a metal show for as long as i have young fresh legs that still work well when people sit they just tend to like give less shits about moving or headbanging so it was a bit lame I guess. But about the music itself, it was great. And I thought the video clips that were already released were great. The intro for Sleepwalk My Life Away is amazing. And I actually thought that video clip was really good. I think potentially even better than the ones that were released already. Maybe it's like the most high budget, best clip yet from this album. In general, the actual visualizers were kind of hit or miss. And um, I also actually saw the global premiere for Rammstein's Zeit. And honestly, that was done much better, I should say. <laughs> because I don't know, like, the animations in the Rammstein one just seemed kind of more like high budget, which is crazy because Metallica is the biggest heavy metal band, so... But I'm a, I'm a little Rammstein fanboy, so maybe that's why. No, but seriously, like some of the animations just seemed a bit like low budget. And when you compare the video clips from Metallica to like the video clips from Rammstein, there's just no competition there, you know? Like, I don't know, I was expecting a bit more from the visualizers personally. But I mean, the visualizers you're not gonna see anymore. You're gonna hear the music. So what did I think of the music? I thought it was great. And there were multiple moments, like, 
I can't really think specifically of all the titles, of course. Obviously, I mean, it was like, what, 11, 12 songs? So I can't memorize everything from the top of my head now, but like there were a lot of really good songs besides the singles, because I actually love the singles. But besides that, there are a lot of great, great songs on there. And I thought it was very interesting. The first song by Metallica that's over 10 minutes, the final song. That was a bit interesting because I could have sworn <laughs> They've made songs that are over 10 minutes. I mean, Metallica kind of has long songs, so I don't know, I always assumed that they did have a song that's over 10 minutes. Now, what I loved about this global premiere that wasn't done with the Rammstein premiere is the fact that you get to see the band and they give a bit of context and background info in between the songs. Now, this was mentioned in advance, but I was a bit worried about this because I thought it would just drag on too long and every member would say something about each song and it would just kind of drag. Not at all. Like, maximum two members get to say something about each song and it was great honestly it added so much more to the whole premiere and made it feel more dynamic more interesting more exclusive and i'm honestly curious if they're gonna release this anywhere because the rammstein global premiere can't see that shit anymore anymore like some visualizers were just exclusive to the global premiere kind of fucking crazy you know it would be nice to maybe get an even longer version of this like get to hear every band member's thoughts on each song because like i wouldn't have wanted to see that in the cinema because it would have been just too much but like watching it at home getting to watch like three hours of footage of them talking about each song would be pretty interesting to see i guess and of course at the end there was a surprise that they're gonna be live streaming i guess two concerts in the cinema which is pretty crazy and honestly i don't know how no band thought of that before i mean i think that's the first time that's gonna be done because like there were a lot of live streaming concerts during the pandemic of course but none like live streaming to the cinema which just adds a whole new layer to it because you're with an audience you can see it on a big screen so i think that's gonna be awesome personally i'm not gonna go there because like i'll be home from my vacation from egypt for like three days and the trip is like a month so i kind of want to rest after that so yeah i'll pass on it but for the fans it's great you know this is a great thing they're doing so i'm excited regardless just for the fandom you know but overall i really like 72 seasons i think it's a great album i can't wait to just listen to it tomorrow on vinyl maybe at the gym i'll listen to it and i can't wait to see how the album overall it grows on me. I feel like Hardwired to Self Destruct kind of took me a while to really grow on me, but now I love that album. And um, this one has a very similar sound, so it's easier for me to already love it now. But giving this album more time and letting this one kind of sink in, it's gonna be amazing. I feel. I feel like I'm gonna be loving this album a couple years. It might even be a classic, you know? So yeah, very curious to see how that plays out. Anyways, that's all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.